Wayne, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Gemma. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you doing out there? Very good. Very good. It's just a pleasant Asha now. <laughs> how many miles have you guys done now? Sorry, say that again? How many miles have you done now? Uh, we're on about uh, 1,000, just under 1,200 miles. Oh, wow. Almost okay. Halfway. So almost coming up to halfway here then? Yes. Or halfway home. So tell, tell us what you can see right now. A lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's an immense, I mean, you, you feel very small out here. It's, you... it's, it's just a huge expanse of, of moving water. It's actually amazing. And you can literally see no other boats or anything? Sorry, say that again? You can see no other boats out there? Uh, we've seen some dolphin and... and uh, birds and things like that. It's been very, it's been, it's been kind of a challenge to get to this spot. Um, we, we haven't really had the weather, so it's been quite hard rowing and uh, there hasn't been much wildlife at all, to be honest. Oh really? Okay. And what's, what has the weather been like? Is it been, has it been choppy there? Well, it's not, not too stormy or anything. The lack of weather more. Um, we, we started heading south from La Gomera purely to find the, to get to the trade winds a lot earlier. And uh, with all the storms up north, um, they've, been, they've been hampering the, the forming of the trade winds. So we've had little, little wind, or wind coming from the wrong direction all the way. Tell us what the night sky looks like. I hear the stars are pretty spectacular. The, star, the stars at night are absolutely incredible. I can't even... I can't even explain it. Have you ever seen them look like that before? I have in Barbuda, actually. Okay. Oh, wow. Hey, Wayne Kenny here. What is a typical day on, on, um, for you guys right now? Wayne? I'm sorry, Kenny, you, you broke me. I didn't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I was saying, what is a typical day in the life of you guys right now? A typical day. <laughs> uh, it, it, we don't really have days. It's just a two hours section of your life that's five or six or stuff to the race. Um, we basically, the sun comes up in the morning and we sit and have a cup of coffee for breakfast. And then until the next time that happens, you just, two hours you row the boat and then two hours you go and catch up on as much sleep as you can. And then you back off your the that's two hours on, off, and you just, uh, you make your feet as you're going along and, and just uh, stay happy and positive and all the rest of it. And how are you all getting on? Ah, uh, very well. Yeah, I mean, a couple of guys on the boat, it's, uh, it's really cool. There, there hasn't been any... any <laughs> no, no, I know the last time you were here on the radio with me, you said that you dreaded the feast, the freeze-dry food. Have you have you been able to catch any fish and get any fresh fish on the boat? I'm sorry, Kenny. I, 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 I didn't. I was saying that the last time we spoke, you said that you hated the idea of eating freeze-dry food. Have you been able to catch any fresh fish on the boat? Yeah, we, we were very lucky. Um, Stuart, our captain, he's done this twice before, so he managed to find us some food from Scandinavia. Okay. And it's, it's called Termat. And actually turned out to be really... Go ahead. Wayne, you here? Yes, I can. I can. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. You must be getting some uh, pretty intense cravings. What what are you what are you craving the most? Oh, geez, so much, Jim. I can't, <laughs> there's much thing. Uh, you sit there, you're rowing, your mind is all over the place, and you just think of like a peri peri chicken or a hamburger or a steak and eggs or just there's so much, so much that goes that, that I mean, we sat here the other day just making lists of what we what was going to be our first meal. <laughs> and it, it ended up being pages and pages of it. Oh, wow. Do you have any antique and rum on board, or is the competition too fierce for that? No, no, no. We, we, we do have a bottle of rum on board for our last night. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't, didn't take it all the way from Antigua. Okay.
Okay. How do you spend Christmas on the water? Sorry? How did you spend Christmas on the water? Um, it was it was a very brief, um, nothing too fancy. We put on some Christmas hats and, and uh, the, the boys opened their presents from family and friends and um, took a couple of pictures and then we got roped again. It's, it's, uh, you can't take too much time. You have to keep the boat moving. What music have you been listening to? I'm thinking you must be playing some motivational tunes along the way there. Yeah, uh, luckily Stuart's got uh, heaps and heaps of music, so we've just got the radio going just about all day. Um, loads of, there's, we've got between us, there's, we've got enough music on the boat to keep us going. And like you say, a lot of it is motivational, and when a bit of ACDC starts playing, then oh, the lovely. starts going a little bit <laughs> all the rest of it. You must be having some lengthy conversations as well. What are you talking about while you're sitting there rowing for all those hours each day? Yeah, no, we, you, we can talk for two hours at a time and at the end of it we don't even know what we said to each other. <laughs> what, what uh, he... is this? Sorry, carry on. I was just going to ask what you're missing the most, apart, apart from your wife, obviously. Yeah, fam, family is my biggest. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any day? What? Uh, any idea what date you might arrive? That's that's very difficult. I, um, like I said in the, the first interview with Kenny, we would have we would like to. Well, my goal was like forty days. Okay. Um, I we I think if we had found the weather earlier, maybe we could have made it. But I think we're going to be there forty days or, or a little over. Not okay. too short at the moment. It all depends on if the weather comes through for us. Okay. And how comfortable is the boat for sleeping? Not very. I <laughs> know, oh, I can imagine. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the smallest cat, and uh, Charles and myself have to share the cabin. <laughs> right. And uh, it, 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 it's tight, put it that way. Do you guys know how much you've raised so far for the Smile Foundation? Um, we were actually talking about it this morning, Stuart. Yeah? Do we know more or less how much we've raised for the Smile Foundation? Probably in the region of about $20,000. Oh, wow, that's yeah. excellent. It is. It, it, it makes a huge difference if you convert it to the rands in South Africa. Fantastic. How are you guys planning on celebrating when you finally get here? A hot shower, a razor blade, a nice hot meal, and then a few drinks, I think. What meal? That's always a question I want to know. What will be the first thing you want to eat when you get back? Oh, there's... I think... I, I know Charles, he said he wants two burgers with fries. <laughs> and uh, I think Stuart and I were going along the lines of like a steak, egg and chips or something like that. Okay, okay, all right. Now no, you you and, and were, go, chicken. go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> now you were a bearded guy before you took on this challenge, but I can imagine being out on the water that long. You know, you might have had some growth on that beard. How do everybody? How does everybody look right now? How does the what look like? Now I said you were a, a pretty much bearded guy before you left. No, I, I can imagine yeah. being out in the water that long. You must have had some hair growth. How does everyone look oh, right beard. now? Yeah, the, the beard is, is coming along. I'm in competition with old Charlie on the boat. <laughs> um, I think by the time like, we arrive in Antigua, I might, uh, it, it might be a full-fledged beard for the first time in my life. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing you guys probably lost a little weight along the way as well. Are you looking kind of skinny too? I, I'm, I'm on my way. Charles, uh, Charles, you told me that I've, I've lost a lot of weight. It's difficult to see for yourself. But uh, my clothes that, uh, that I did bring with me don't fit me. Oh, really? Wow. Uh, I've lost. Now, there's quite a few people tuned in to listen to you, Wayne. Is there anybody out there out here you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, just um, all my family and friends. That'd be great. 
Okay, well, we wish you the very best of luck out there. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been great catching up, and hopefully we can uh, uh, organise another chat sometime, maybe next week.